What is going on guys? People always ask me, how do I improve or get better in Warzone? And I tell them, watch the best players in the world play because you can learn so much from them. But today we're gonna be doing something even better. I'm gonna be doing a live comp, giving you guys tips and breaking down the gameplay. Obviously, there's so much stuff that us pro players do that you probably don't and so many stuff you can learn. So hopefully, you got your notepad out and let's get learning. And real quickly, shout out to the Nodi gang. Thank you for having your Nodis on. If you want to be shout out in the next video, comment Nodi gang down below. Since so, Peak's a little bit of a stretch, we're just going to go airfield here. So usually I want to drop off of like high 600s if I'm going straight down like this. Peak is like a different, but if I'm going straight down, like... Uh, High 600s usually when I, I jump off. You do like mid 600s, high 600s, kind of beat beat someone here. Do the jump real quick. Slammed. Had a feeling he might be here, so I was playing for it. Thank you. I'm here so like, you obviously have the chances there's someone's here, right? Like I heard him above me. It's Enemy hard. It's a very nearby. hard situation, but if your centering is on point and you're, you know, paying attention, you can still kill that guy. I think someone's going for that supply drop. Enemy soldier above. I don't see shit. Yeah, he grabbed it. Somebody grabbed it. Is he low? Oh, no, he's on top. Kill that guy. I grabbed the supply drop, so I'm looking for him. Can I reload? No, I'm not. Use my other gun. Watch your heads. Got him. Dude, I gotta. I want to get his guns, bro. bro. I'm about to die going for them right now. Fucking heat seeking missiles, bro. So something I try to tell you guys all the time is like, when you're running around the map. Like, I tend to, like, look to my sides. Like, this is how you avoid getting, like, uh, this is how you avoid getting shot in the side and, like, kind of, I guess, ratted. And also, what I try to do is I hug near cover and get ready to get into cover. So, like, sometimes people do is this. Like, this can make the, all the difference is if you're doing this. Hugging cover. Someone shoots me. Oh, okay, let me go in. And that's why positioning is something really good players do. Just ready to ready to avoid getting cover. I I hug walls. I hug buildings. I hug, I hug something to give me cover right away. I don't maneuver out in the open usually, unless I absolutely have to. Like I'm out in the open. But you see, like how I'm maneuvering around the map right now. Supply box located. Move to secure. Oh, I dropped. Dude, that saved me so many times. Yeah, it's something as small as that that can save your life, especially on a map like Caldera where it's it's wide wide open, you know. I'm gonna go for this guy, and because well, I know he's here. More kills, more kills, more bills. Stim right away. <laughs> I was trying to hit him with a stim slide, but he just kept rechallenging me, dude. Fuck. Whatever, got the job done. Something I tend to do as well. Wait, is that on the? Oh, it's like whatever. I'll just run into it. Is I shoulder a lot out of building, out of like doors. So sometimes people Enemy do this, bro. They just like sometimes it's fine. But like if I think someone's nearby, I'm gonna do this and then go. At one second of like, because if you put yourself out in the open, like you could potentially die, right? The good thing is the health is increased now, especially in Vanguard. So like, there's a higher chances of you surviving, but. It's still like, you know, like you want to be able to shoulder stuff and like stay alive. I see another load out here. So that means it could be another guy nearby. For sure. I'm going to be able to play it up and fight this real quick. Get the shoulder. See him coming in. Reach out from the left. Easy clap. I could have stimmed there to be, to be safe, but like I knew I was chilling. Like a stim would have just been like the icing on the cake, right? Like, I knew I could have got behind that cover and, ch like, chilling without dying. I, I was too close to it to die. All right, coming in. What's the enemy? Grab the barricade. That's my bounty. He wants my butt cheeks. He's probably going to go on top of the tents if he's smart. I'm going to go back on. I'm going to go on top of the tents, too. Okay. Yep. I'm dead. Combat scout. 
Pops him away. Of course he's smart. Why wouldn't he be? Played up. Free Chalum. Camera him. Dead. Tactical nuke inbound. So obviously you gotta think what a smart player is gonna do, right? He took forever to go on the tents, which kind of threw me off a little bit. And he went wide right on me. But like, you want to fight high ground with high ground. So if you ever think someone's going to go on the tents or you know someone's on you and you can get the high ground on them, you get the high ground on them. So like, just a small example. I said like, if we get a 1v1 like this, like, it's like even, right? But now let's say he's up there and I do this. This is a harder, he has more of a head glitch. I could wall bang this a little bit, but it's a harder gunfight, harder everything. You want to even the playing field by doing it back. So that's what I was trying to do. I just gonna find him right away. Time for some recon. Pop the UAV. UAV beginning fire. This guy's flying in. What the fuck? The guy's just killed. If he grabs his loadout, he's dead. I'm gonna wait for it. Die here. Found us a spot. See him in the UAV, push him. I'm driving. Player, you're fucking, you know, you're done. You're done, kid. Free fire this bitch, because I can, because I have 100 bullets in this automaton. Let's say I don't kill him. Worst case scenario, he has to, he, I hit him once, he has to play it up. I would stim rush him dead. Thank you so fucking much, papa. Oh my god. Yo, I just supermaned him. Holy. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, you want some punk? You want some punky? That was so accidental. That was so cool. Beardo, Beardo, man, I love you, Beardo. Thank you for the seven months, baby. <clears throat> Beardo! Beardo! Thank you so much, Papa. All right, he just kind of gave me that. Um, but obviously, when you have someone one shot and you think you can get aggressive on them, you want to get aggressive on them. So if that means, you know, there's a guy at H. Saw the red dots. I'm gonna go back now. But that means like flying at them quickly, stimming, rushing them, like catch them off guard, catch them while they're weak, catch them while they're plating it up, catch them at their weakest moment and finish them. So now I'm going to cross through here because it's the shortest, short, shortest area to cross through. I have this little hut. I see this guy in front of me. Crack them. I'm going to stim. He went back in. I'm gonna try to cut Stay him off. Clear. Wait, he went up. I knew it. Do a jump. He stopped running, so he's holding. It. Oh my god! What the fuck, you're a rat? I knew he was there somewhere. <laughs> Three, two, one. Camera. Oh. Dude, you guys scared the fuck out of me. I almost had a heart attack. Yeah, I try not to YY when I don't need a YY. Like some people OD it. I got time on this guy, and you're dead. Call of Duty time in. Gotta hug the walls. Hug the walls. <laughs> now nah, it's something so small, but like realistically, like if that person is hugging this wall, so to speak. Like he can uh, potentially avoid me, but like he's out in the parking field a lot. Like it's just a free kill. Like, you don't think about these things sometimes, but it does make a difference. You know, it can it can save your life or get you killed. I know one guy's up here because he was he was up top. So like kill. I'm going for the other one shooting at him. Hit him. I don't know. There's that was two of them right there. Played up. Stole the kill. Got the other one. There was, there was one more, but like, unless he died, I saw three. I'm gonna pop my UV. Yep, there's one behind me. I knew it. That's not gonna save you, unfortunately. You're too weak already. You're too weak, unfortunately. Get all the money. So, big game bounties are obviously really fucking good. I'm gonna use a stim here to go down the hill for the movement. 
So something I like doing and you should always do is when you're flying around, try to press L2 or whatever the order the key is for you so you can look around. So you have more of a view, more of an eye view, more of a everything. Is this where this guy stops? Yep, he stops here. Pop the UAV. Time for recon to give so us I have a more show. information on him. UAV getting over. Time for recon to give us a so show. So obviously it's good for it's good to get everything right Your uav turn. pop the stim it's a 1v1 fight if i could stim him you know pop a uv for the information big game bounties are fucking humongous yes, he's moving. i think this guy's all the way up top but i could be wrong i think he is all the way up top UAV is out of fuel. or he's going all the way up top we're not gonna bother that guy we're gonna go for these guys over here this guy's flying in with ghosts or some shit this ghost guy die in front of me in this building and a guy above the other building so you something you can do is always mark so you remember Marking i'll mark that guy there i'll go for this guy now get a glass break easy this gun is too good and oh, close easy clap Something you always got to be really good at, chat, is centering. So, like, super something, super, super, actually, it's not small. It's important. Like, as I'm running, centered, 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 centered. Like, I'm constantly ready for action, and I'm centered, like, where the guy could be. Like, some people centering isn't a good, especially if you're kind of a novice, aka a noob. Centering could be a little off. We can pop an advance here. I'm Advances recon. are good in solos because everyone UAV has ghosts UAV at this point in the game. So we're going to pop one. You made me a god of war with two because yes, of that. I saw I'm saying Thrasher. People don't know. Centering is extremely important. I didn't mean to get it Some people don't understand how important it is. That's why you see some of the some of the best players in the world get some crazy kills or stuff like that. Their centering is really good. Because this. Fuck. Is he behind that? That's what you call, what you call the OG strap. The portable covers. Okay, so we got that guy. We have 23 kills. We can still get a 30 bomb. 7 off 30 out of 11. I know this guy's above me still. You always gotta remember people. You gotta remember people. Do not forget about people. And it's in your head. The guy's above me. Don't forget that. I just don't know how to fight this guy because I don't know this area too well. I think I could jump on that. Yeah, That's kind of hard. Why can I place this here? There we go. Solid kill. Mounting on everything, chat. Even if you have to make your own mount. I'm going to let him go up because I do not have a good shot here, chat. We're going to let him go up. Yep. I'm let him go up. Go for the loot. He's in a bush. Dead. You see, I didn't have the shot. I wouldn't have killed him if he was here. But now that he went there, I killed him. And now we're left until a 1v1 situation. I heard shots to my left here earlier. So it means he could be around that vicinity. Did he do it already? I'm in trouble. Trying to take as much cover as I can. Yes, he's moving. And I win because I out movement you and positioned you. GG's. All enemy teams. Let's go! 